Hi, I'm Dr. Terry Kim, Professor of Ophthalmology at Duke University Eye Center, and I'm here at the SECO meeting 2015. And I just finished giving the keynote lecture on cutting edge cornea, and I got a lot of questions about the pharmacologic treatment of presbyopia, which is a topic I covered in today's lecture. I'm really excited about all the technologies that are going to be available to treat presbyopia in the near future. Many of these involve surgical treatments on the cornea, such as the AccuFocus uh, lens from camera, but there's also another alternative, which is treating with drops. There is a company called Presbyopia Therapies, which has come out with a proprietary eye drop called Liquid Vision, specifically aimed for treating patients who are looking to reduce their need for glasses and contact lenses for up-close vision. What's key about this drop, it will be very different from pilocarpine in terms of creating meiosis or a pinhole effect. The reason it will be very different is because it will unlink meiosis from accommodation. So contrary to the accommodation that you get with pilocarpine in addition to the meiosis, you won't see any of the side effects, you won't see decreased near vision, and you won't see accommodation occur with liquid vision. This is meant to be a drop that's applied in both eyes, not just one eye, to not only improve uncorrected near vision, but also improve uncorrected distance vision. And if you look at some of the preliminary data that, was occur uh, that occurred outside the United States, many of the patients saw a benefit of up to five to six lines of improvement in their distant corrected near vision without negatively affecting their distance vision. So this is a drop that lasts about eight hours and it is reversible in its effect. However, if you want a longer effect, you can put an additional drop in each eye. And so hopefully the patients are gonna be able to enjoy the convenience of using a drop to help them with their near vision, without compromising their distance vision, without having to go through perhaps a surgical procedure uh, where you may want to wonder about some of the long-term effects. In addition, I think it will be a greatly beneficial for patients who are currently having problems with either multifocal lenses or suboptimal outcomes after eczema or laser ablation with either a LASIK or PRK procedure. It's sometimes even RK patients may even fit into this category. In terms of patients who are suffering from unwanted glare or halos or other visual aberrations, and typically we know these patients who come into our eye exam, eye exam lanes and notice the enhanced benefit they get from the pinhole from the occluder. So by creating this pinhole effect with a proprietary mixture of medications that have been used in various ophthalmic medications over the last 40 years, we can provide meiosis without accommodation to approve that near vision without compromising distance vision. The medication is undergoing currently trials, phase two trials in the United States, and hopefully we'll see this available for our patients.